So, what do you think has made Common Sense a superior publication compared to others in the area? I think one, we come out every two school weeks, which helps us communicate better with the audience of the school and then connect better too. I think also just the quality of our articles, content, our creativity too, how we design, how we cover topics. It's just something that I'm really proud to be a part of. I was thinking, I mean, I'm a little bit biased with this, but like a review of last year's Lit Mag. I feel like a lot of people don't know about Lit That's Mag. That's a great idea, because it didn't come out until after school was over, so a lot of people never saw it. Yeah. Yeah, that might be a good thing to do with arts, like spend the whole page on it. Yeah. Like, yeah. I am Christina Tsakos, and I am an arts page editor. I joined my junior year, because I did journalism my sophomore, but I couldn't join the team to my junior. This has been my favorite class, you know. Um, I think that being with this team, I don't know, being with the team that we all work together to have one goal that we can actually hold in our hands, like one physical, you know what I mean? It's just, it's a really rewarding um, thing to be a part of. Is anyone easily offended? Because I can do a pretty good Arab, and I'm like, right. <laughs> wait. I'm Joe Poverillis, and I'm one of the editors in chief. Like other papers across the county, they're making single digit issues a year, and I mean, they're all fine and everything, but we're constantly distributing, editing, all this other stuff, and we're making a really good product. But I think just, I mean, I can't speak for papers across the country, but just the the staff we have here and the environment we have here, I think is just really great and it's a good um, team and community. Do you want to do it right now? So, I'll just join Joe. All right. Um, as a student athlete, do you find it difficult to balance your time between uh, being on a team or and, um, and being on the paper? Um, well, I think for most people it can be difficult. Yeah, I mean, but, for sure. Uh, personally, uh, with Miss Starr, I just go and I ask, uh, is it okay if I miss? I have practice today. She goes, yeah, that's fine. Just make sure you come for the next day. And sometimes, like, I'll switch with someone. I'll say, hey, I'll take your editors tomorrow if you take my editors today. Just so that way, everybody's even. I get more editors the second day. But mm -hmm. that way, hey, we keep the newspaper rolling. That's, that's it. it. That's keep it, it rolling. How to game the system, but the teachers game the system the same way. Right? We purposely make the first marking period harder so that we hope you get a B so that you'll still work hard in the second marking period to try to get that A. That's cool. You, you expose, uh, that's it. I, I quit this school. I quit this school. I'm failing math right now. How do we do this? We are well aware if you get an A in the first marking period, you check out second marking period. So, 100%. Yeah, I got My name is Eva Starr and I'm the advisor of Common Sense Newspaper and also an English teacher. I think our main advantage is uh, speed. We come out so often so that our news, our, all of our content is able to be much more timely and relevant. Across all of our content, we are writing about things that are happening right now and our readers are reading about things that are happening right now rather than things that happened a month ago or maybe even six weeks ago, which is not relevant anymore. I also think we have a really dedicated staff that works really, really hard to cover a range of topics and include a range of voices and perspectives and do the work, the journalistic work of research and interviewing that is required to do good journalism. And I think that you all push each other all the time to do it better.